everyone. I'm Mr. Muhammad Kamal, your science teacher. Welcome back in a new science lesson and the same chapter, chapter four, plants and animals and the last lesson. How do animals respond to their environment? What we're going to learn in today's lesson. In today's lesson, inshallah, we will know how animals respond to their environment and get what they need. At the beginning, I want all of you to take a look at the fox turtle right here. What do you think will happen if you just get closer to the turtle or there's an animal get closer to the fox turtle and try to catch it? Yes, that fox turtle will get into its shell to protect itself from being eaten or protect itself from the danger. When it feels threatened, it get into its shell. Why do you think that box turtle do this? And do you think it is the only animal that make a specific behaviors to still alive or to protect itself from threaten? Actually, all the living things do the same. It's called a stimulus. First, we will talk about a word. It's called stimulus. Stimulus mean what? It's something that causes a reaction in a living thing. It's something that causes a reaction in a living thing. Stimulus, it's plural word, it's stimuli. What is a stimulus in the previous example? Yes, when it feels threatened, that's a stimulus. What is the reaction that the fox turtle take? That fox turtle it took a reaction that it pull itself inside its shell. Stimulus causes a reaction. Stimulus causes a reaction. The same idea when you are holding a hot cup of coffee, what you feel? when you are holding a hot cup of coffee. You take your hand back. So feeling hot, okay, or being burned by the hot cup of coffee, it's a stimulus. Make you do a reaction. And the reaction that you take is taking put or just removing your hand from the cup, right? That's a simple example about the meaning of stimulus. There are two types of stimulus. The stimulus could be from the environment around you, or maybe it will be inside your body. Example of stimulus that inside your body, like feeling hungry. What do you do when you feel hungry? Yes, you make a reaction going to eat food or looking for food. When you feel thirsty, you go to drink. It's a reaction. When you feel tired, you go to sleep. So feeling thirsty, hungry, or tired, those are examples of stimuli that inside your body. And you start to take a reaction when you have such a stimuli. The other type of stimulus, of stimulus could be what? A stimulus could be from the environment. For example, if you are walking on the street and suddenly you found a Siberian tiger running behind you, that's a stimulus, right? you'll feel afraid. What will you do? Of course, the reaction that you will do, maybe you will fight the Siberian tiger, but it's too dangerous, or maybe you'll run. I prefer fighting the Siberian tiger because I'm stronger than it. Okay, that's just for example about the behaviors inside your body or from the environment around you. Animal instinct. Instincts mean what? Animals see inherit physical characteristics like the wings, birds inherit wings, uh, fish inherit fins, we inherit arms, or we inherit the color of the eyes, the, eyes, uh, the hair color, the skin color being short or tall from our parents. But you know, we not only inherit physical characteristics, but also we inherit behaviors. All animals inherit behaviors from the environment, from, sorry, inherit behaviors from their parents. And stink it, it's a behavior that is inherited. And stink it, it's a behavior that is inherited. Or simply, instincts are inherited behaviors. Instincts are inherited behavior. And think it, they help the animal to meet what they need or to respond to their stimulus in different ways. Today, an example of an animal instinct is like what? Migration, hibernation, protection. Those are three examples of instinct, but about to talk about it in details right now. 
Migration is what? It is a movement between habitats. Some animals, have you ever look at the sky and found many birds they are flying in a group? Yes, that's called migration. The birds are traveling from one city to another, escaping from the change in weather or the cold to escape the cold winter or even they could be looking for food. The second example of instinctive behavior, protection. Like the porcupine, the porcupine inherits the ability to straight up its quills so it can protect itself from being eaten by other animals or other predators. A third behavior like hibernation. What I mean with hibernation, what you do when the weather is cold? Of course, you cover yourself with a blanket, drink your hot chocolate, right? But hibernation, in general, it is a state of inactivity that animals, many animals go through it, like pears, like pads, turtles, and even marmots right here. Hibernation to the state of inactivity that occurs when outside temperature are cold. Those animals, hibernating animals, they conserve energy by slowing down their body functions. Marmots hibernate in Paris through the winter. Not all the behaviors are inherited, of course, but some behaviors are inherited, we receive it from our parents. Other behaviors are learned. An example for this, I am a great Fortnite player. Do you think someone, do you think I bore knowing how to play Fortnite or Roblox? No, of course I learn how to play it, that's right. Or just now I'm speaking English, I can speak in Arabic. I can speak in Arabic, I can speak in Arabic. Ni hao ma, I can speak in Chinese, okay? So we can speak different language. Do you think that we born knowing how to speak, how to read, how to write all those language? Or we just learn it? Yes. Even I learned from my parents how to tie my shoes, how to get dressed, how to use a spoon, how to make my own coffee, right? How to make a cake. Those are learning behaviors, are things I learned from my parents. Even animals, a dog. If the dog gets closer to a skunk, the skunk give out a bad smell. So the dog learn would never to get closer to a skunk again. Do you think the dog, poor knowing how to do it, poor how to get in away from the skunk, or it learned if I go to the skunk, there will be a bad smell. Lion, the lion cubs or the baby lions, they inherit, they, they don't or knowing how to hunt, but see watching their parents hunting in groups, or its mother told that the lion cup here how to pounce on its prey by pouncing on its twitching tail. Different animals, they learn different behaviors to help them to survive. Learn and instinct combine. That white crowned sparrow, it's a bird that inherits the ability to recognize a song. It's a species thing. But do you know that if that young white crowned sparrow separated from its parents when it was too young, it would never know how to, how to sing that song. Yes, I know that song, but I can't sing it. That is exactly what happened to it. He can recognize the song that its species sing, but he didn't learn it. Its parents didn't teach it how to, how to sing that song. Human inherits the ability to learn much more than animals can learn. For example, human inherits the ability to learn language. I told you, I can speak English, I can speak different language. But do you think I born knowing how to read, how to speak, how to write all those language? No, but I inherit from my parents the ability to learn. I can be a great basketball player. I learned the ability to learn how to skateboard, for example, how to skate in general. Those are examples. We inherit the ability to learn from our parents, but knowing how to speak, how to read, how to write a specific language, that is a learned behavior. What do you think here we have a question? If this adult sparrow cannot complete the song, what can you conclude? Yes, it was separated from its parents and didn't learn its song. Question number eight. 
underlines a behavior that is respond to a stimulus in the environment. Which one you'll choose? A thirsty elephant looks for water or a fish moves to deeper water as the temperature of a lake change. He told you a stimulus in the environment. Of course, we will, take, we will choose the, first, the second one. Question nine, classify. Humans sometimes build fires to keep warm. Is this an instinctive behavior, inherited behavior, or learned behavior? Yes, it's a learned behavior. We didn't learn how to make a fire. We didn't learn knowing how to make a fire, but we learn how to do this. Before uh, the session is over, I want to ask you two questions to think about it. A bird building nest, it's an instinctive or learned behavior. A spider making a web, it's inherited or learned behavior. Write your answers in the comment below and see you in the next lesson, my friends. Goodbye, everyone.